How do Japanese kids learn Japanese in school? Let's ask a first grader. 国語の授業では何をどんなことをしていますか漢字を練習したり、払ったり、止めるところを練習しています。<笑> Did you notice that they say 国語 national language? We also say 日本語 Japanese, but when it's a school subject, we say 国語 national language. She also said that she practices kanji. Let's see how she does it. You can see that she practices writing some of the 80 kanjis that she learns in the first year. But in Japanese elementary school, we don't start learning kanji right away. We learn hiragana first. It's December as of now, and the Japanese school year starts in April. So that's why she's already learning kanji. Let's see how she learns hiragana. Did you notice that she was reading a poem consisting of hiragana? It went like this. This helps you learn the letter. You also have short stories and text in your Japanese textbooks. And in the beginning, they consist entirely of hiragana. No kanji yet. And if these supposedly easy texts are too difficult for you, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak. Because textbooks for non native speakers and apps don't really teach you how we actually speak Japanese. So click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. So in Japanese school, they slowly introduce kanji as they progress, like in these examples. Now you may be wondering, what about katakana? When do they learn? Now that's an interesting question because in the official guideline, they say that they learn katakana in either the first year or the second year. So if you look at the first year textbook, sometimes they put furigana above katakana. Katakana is interesting because we use them less often than hiragana or kanji, so it's understandable that it's easy for many of you guys to forget it. But as a native speaker of Japanese, I've never forgotten how to write katakana in my life, and I absolutely have no recollection of forgetting how to write katakana like nu or na all of a sudden when I try to write them because I very rarely handwrite katakana these days. But as you can see, we spend a lot of time learning how to write letters. But you also have exercises like picking the right conjunction. So that was the first year. But what did they learn in the third year? 学校の国語の授業では何をしていますか？学校の国語の授業では三年陶芸っていうのをやっています。先生は普段どうやって授業を進めていますか？先生は普段授業では漢字をここまでやったら読書をしてくださいと言います。新しい漢字の書き順や読み方は先生はどうやって説明してくれるんですか？先生は書き方時にはここは一画目だよ、ここは二画目だよと教えてくれます。その後みんなで練習するんですか？はい。じゃあ教科書の物語を勉強するときは先生はどんな風に教えてくれるんですか？先生はここまず段落を分けてそれで終わっ。段落を分けたら丸を読み丸読みをします。丸読みって何ですか？あ、文が終わった後最後に丸をつきます。それでそこで文その文が終わるっていうことなので、一人がその終わるところまで読んで、もう一人がそこまで読むという感じに、一人一人が丸のところまで読むという感じです。一人一文読んで順番に読んでいくっていうことですか？はい。It's probably not surprising to you that she mentioned kanji, but she also used an interesting term, maruyomi, which I didn't know. But apparently, it means reading a sentence out loud during class. I also remember one thing we did in our elementary school. We summarized each paragraph and gave it a title. For example, this paragraph talks about how we eat soybean products every day without really thinking that they have soybeans in them. So maybe I can give this paragraph the title, Mijikana Daizu, 
familiar soybeans, something like that. I kind of liked that exercise and I was pretty good at it. Now, let's ask what she does at home. She said, work, which is kind of like a workbook. これはどんなドリルですか？これは学校で習う国語の教科書に載っている文をここのドリルに載せたものです。どんな問題が書いてあるんですか？これはテストでやる復習、復習みたいな感じでテストが100点できるようにこちらに載せたものです。That was interesting because I don't think I had that in my school, and of course she practices kanji. 1日にどれくらいの時間がかかりますか?1日やるのには30分くらいかかります。どんなところに気をつけてやってますか?止めや払いをまっすぐに線を書くというところを気をつけています。Again, we spend so much time learning kanji. At this point, you may have realized why we use kanji even though it takes a lot of time to learn. It's because we are masochists. But as someone who is learning Japanese as an adult, you don't have to memorize how to handwrite kanji because we actually don't really handwrite kanji that often in real life. You can just use computers or smartphones. So you can just learn Japanese with me because I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps are unnatural and outdated. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta.